All right, so here's something I thought could be pretty cool. So um, here I have my uh, new fractal boosty baby, which is uh, my new five volt voltage booster. Very tiny. And uh, yeah, so these were made in house on the pick and place machine right here that I'll show more about uh, soon. Uh, but yeah, for now, these were just manufactured in house, and uh, manufacturing is only one half of the equation uh, now that we've made them. Uh, we want to make sure that they all actually work, yeah, that they all perform uh, within uh, expectations. And so uh, uh, for the previous uh, batch, the previous uh, Boosty Boy, which is right here, you can see the difference in scale, by the way. Yeah, so for the Boosty Boy uh, right here, uh, which was this, about the same layout, uh, yeah, I used to have, I just will have this um, jig that I will go by hand on the panel and just check them one by one at a fixed voltage and a fixed load. So basically stress testing them, uh, putting them on the load and measure just by, by eye uh, that yeah, you can actually output the desired uh, power without sagging too much in voltage. And that was good for back then, actually, that was pretty wicked. I uh, made 300 of these and I didn't have a single complaint. I didn't receive a single email about one not working. So, uh, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, for this one, I wanted to uh, get a bit more Thor. Thor, yeah, in uh, the way we are testing them. I wanted to have some more data since we're manufacturing in-house. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have a bit more uh, control and understanding of what's going on. So, uh, yeah, this is where this software comes into place. This is uh, EZ Studio. It's an open source uh, software that is I, it, do, it can do many things. Uh, one of them that I use it for is a no-code um, environment to make automated testing protocol. And this here is one that I designed. And uh, what it does basically, it uh, communicates with my testing equipment by uh, Skippy, uh, CPI, that's a communication protocol for some of the instruments. Some, some of them are connected through RS-232, some of are USB. But yeah, what's important is that uh, this enables uh, me to command and to command these uh, instruments and also send queries uh, for measurement. And this is exactly what this program does here. So the way it works is, first of all, I have this testing protocol here that is basically an array where I set different voltages, different, so it will apply different voltage for different times and different loads. So it loads this as the testing parameters. And then this uh, flow here, uh, has two main parts. The first one is commanding the testing equipment. So it will go through this array, this list, and uh, send the desired voltage and load for every step. And on the bottom here, we have the measuring part that we effectively uh, uh, queries uh, measurements from the instruments. So here I'm measuring the from the power supply, the input voltage, current, and power. And on the output, I'm measuring the voltage, current, and power from the electronic load, as well as on the scope, measuring the ripple right here. So all these three uh, instruments are connected together through the computer. 
and uh, yeah so this enables me to launch automated testing protocol visualize the result in real time and also log the results into a csv file and sort them by sample so every time i make a new sample it will add a sample number and uh, well, what i don't have yet a uh, serialized number so every test is not linked to uh, which sample at least it gives me some uh, overall data on how the batch is working and eventually in the future that will enable us to uh, figure out if there is something wrong with the process or the components uh, that makes uh, something wrong or something good actually uh, to basically compare performance between batches and in any way uh, too much data is never a wrong thing right so uh yeah uh, here i have a sample loaded for instance this is a little clamp that i designed here it's connected uh, we have the power leads on the top and uh, here are the sense leads because i'm doing four wire measurements both on the power supply and the load so uh, this enables these instruments to measure the applied voltage directly at the device on the test while bypassing the resistance of the wire. So this gives you more accurate uh, results. And so, uh, yeah, so I already have a sample loaded. So let me show you what happens when I press uh, next. So this launches the protocol. You can see that the load is pumping five watts. And it just, you can see the uh, power supply is automatically changing voltage. And there you go, we have it. So this is a pretty quick process. It's just meant to put each booster under a variety, like a, a range of situation and see how it performs in a simulated uh, real range of operation yep. here's another one see efficiency is good noise is good normal now let me show you what happens if i put a bad sample choose some uh, samples that are already uh, set aside that we're not performing as expected. Let's see what this one does. Here I'm gonna launch the test. Yeah, I can see this one is getting about four volt, but it's not pulling any current. So something must be off with it. That's why I set it aside. And I will send it back to the WeWork service, which happens to be me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's put another one. There you go. Next sample. Whoa. This one's not putting anything either. Make sure that. Might have another dot here. So I'm gonna try putting it, reseating it. Make sure that it's uh, well seated in the pogo pins, but nope. Oh, yeah, that's no good. That's another dot. Which so far is actually not that bad. I'm up to five. Five forty out of a panel of eighty-eight. There is not much. There's like ten left to test. Yeah, this one now is working good. High efficiency, putting the power. Noise is nominal. So this one is good. So. Uh, yeah, uh, there's still a lot that can be done to automate all this. Uh, 
eventually uh, I'd like in the future to test directly on the panel uh, maybe with like a C CNC automated probe that uh, goes from one to the next uh, but yeah for now with this small volume uh, just put them in the clamp like this is enough and yeah if uh, you're into small scale manufacturing as well uh, this protocol might be useful to you so uh, i've actually published them on github the name of the software is easy studio i have the link as well i'll put the link to the uh, protocol suite uh, in the description if you want to give it a try and uh, yeah that's uh, that's about it i guess i'll uh, be seeing you next time cheerio